Hey everyone, welcome to the Superb AI Academy. My name is Tyler McKean, and today we'll be exploring analytics in the Superb AI suite. When it comes to analytics, we have a couple different tools you can use to properly manage your projects and team. So first we can go over to this analytics section and click project analytics. This is our project analytics page. Here you'll be able to get insight into certain aspects of your data set that'll help you mitigate data bias, as well as track progress. You'll have access to metrics such as total number of labels, object and category counts, and others such as how many labels have been, sub have been submitted and when. You can also change the data sets referenced on this page and get deeper insight into the analytics for specific data sets in your project. So if we only wanted to look at our training data, we could click this and now we're looking at the analytics for just the training data. You also have access to what we call user reports which will essentially be your team analytics. Here you'll be able to monitor your team's efficiency by tracking metrics such as total number of labels submitted by a labeler, total number of objects submitted by that labeler, and categories within those images. Total amount of time spent in the annotation app is also included here. You can also customize which data you want to include on this page by using the filters. So if we go to customize, we can then choose uh, which filters we want to use um, to show here. So we can GT1 validation, and then this will create a report for just the 355 labels, very similarly to how you use filters on the uh, label list. If you want a, an itemized way to look at how much time is spent on a specific label, you can go to your labels list and then click on a label. And then we can see in the top that we have um, a timer that counts. So if we move this around, you know, let's say we add uh, an object class here and we save and move back, we can see that we spent six seconds on this label. So that's an easy way to track time spent on specific labels. So that's it. Once you have your projects up and running and your team labeling, check out your project analytics and leverage them to optimize your projects. See you guys next time.